Hi everybody, I'm so glad you're here today because today's gonna be a really exciting video. It's a three-parter, but I'll explain that a little bit later on in the video. For now, I wanna show you two exciting items that you're gonna see in today's video. First one is this Crown Royal bottle whiskey display. It's really cool. Second one you're gonna see is this Hairmax laser hair growth machine. I didn't know they made laser hair growth machines, but I own one. I'm also gonna show you 10 to 12 other items that I got. So just sit back and enjoy, cause we're gonna have fun today. Well, it's nice to see all you guys. There's a few of you missing, but I'm sure you'll tell them what they missed because today's going to be a good one. In today's video, I'm going to break it up into three parts. In the first part, I'm going to go trash picking in the neighborhood. In the second part, I'm going to go to Goodwill and do some treasure hunting. And in the third part, I'm going to show you what I paid for and what I sold items that I bought in previous videos. It should be a lot of fun. But before we start, let's do the trivia question for today. In what year was the first Star Wars movie? What was that Star Wars movie's name? And more importantly for thrifters, what company won the rights to make Star Wars toys? It's an interesting answer. I'll tell you later on in the video, but for now, let's get ready with part one and do some trash picking. I wasn't long into my adventure when I saw a piece of furniture up there near that truck. As I got closer, there was a sign on it that said free and then I realized it was a TV stand made of bamboo, so I wanted to get a closer look at it. Well, I put it in the car, and I realized it was taking up way too much room, so I figured I'd drive it home and take a better look at it there. When I got this home, I, I realized this was in pretty good shape. The top swiveled nice, the doors opened easy, it moved on the coasters really well. So I was really happy with this find. I ended up listing that wicker TV stand for $45 on Facebook Marketplace. Well, it didn't take long. Girl got in touch with me and she offered me $25 for it. Well, since I paid nothing for it, I took the offer. She just came a little while ago and picked it up. Okay, well back to the video. I continued to drive around the neighborhood and then I saw that pile of garbage with the bin. So I wanted to pull over and see what I could find in there. Out of that pile, all I could find was this bin and that box, and they both had nothing in them, so I just kept the bin and continued on searching. A few blocks later, I saw this box with these little wheels hanging out, so it caught my curiosity, and I pulled over to see what they were attached to. As I got closer, I still didn't know what it was, and then I read on the top of the box that it said birdcage. 61-inch birdcage. I lifted it up, it Looked pretty new to me, so I definitely wanted to take this home and investigate it a little more. When I got home, I realized this was in as close to new condition as you could get. It had an instruction book with a parts list, and all the parts were there. I looked them up online, they go for $125, so I figured I'd ask 90 and see what I get for it. Well, that's about enough garbage picking for one day. I already listed that birdcage on Facebook Marketplace. I think it'll sell pretty fast. But for now, we have to get to the Goodwill. We don't want to miss out on all the treasures. So sit back and enjoy. We'll be there soon. Well, I was a little late getting here today, but I was still anxious to see what they had. You know, they put out new stuff continuously all day, so you never know when to get here. So let's get a cart and start the treasure hunt. This first aisle that I looked at had a lot of their new Christmas stuff. And I had been here just a few days ago, so I had seen a lot of it. So I just figured I'd scan this aisle real quick. But then I noticed this Bugs Bunny Santa. A Looney Tunes Santa Claus. It was $9.99. They were going for over $30. So it became mine. This house started out with this Halloween mask. And then it had some frames that I wasn't interested in. A couple of pictures. But next to these pictures was this 
remote control. It was an iRobot remote control. It was only $3. I can sell them for 15 easy. So I definitely took this one. This all had some pretty nice ceramics on it. The first thing I saw was this dog. It was $1.99. Actually, he was metal. He wasn't ceramic. The next few things definitely were ceramic or cheap glass. But I couldn't make any money with them, so I just passed them. Then I saw this guy. Turned out he was part of a salt and pepper shaker, but the pepper shaker was missing, so I left him and the aisle. First thing I saw on this aisle were these Bissell vacuum cleaner bags for $1.99. I looked them up. They were only going for $9, so I passed on it. Then I saw this golf bag shaped bottle and can cooler. It was insulated. It was only $1.99. I figured it was unique enough to sell, so I took it. This was going to be the last aisle at this store. I had pretty much looked through everything I wanted to. So I'm just going to go up to the cashier and then I'll meet you guys out in the car. Well, we had some fun in there, but now it's time to head to the next Goodwill. It'll probably be our last Goodwill because there's some bonus footage I'm dying for you guys to see. So, let's continue thrifting. I started on their electronics aisle because I had luck here the last couple of weeks. First thing I saw was this ink cartridge. It was $2.99. But I looked them up. They weren't going for 10 bucks, so I left it. That was an old slide projector. Boy, was that old. Next, I saw this case. I didn't know what was in it. It was $3.99. It said Hair Max. It was a laser hair growth machine. They go for like $70 online, so I put it in a car. I wanted to do an update on this Hair Max machine because I had never heard of them before. I read the booklet and looked it up a little. And you take this wand, I guess, and you put it on your hair, and it's the laser is supposed to stimulate the follicles, and you get hair growth. Well, well, obvious I need it. So what I'm gonna do is get off camera, try it for a while, and then I'll be right back. Wow, this is amazing. I haven't had hair in years. This thing is amazing. I'm not selling it. I'm keeping it for myself. Okay. Now back to the video. I got to this island. I wasn't seeing anything that I liked. But like I always say, you have to check everywhere at Goodwill because you never know where you're going to find something good. This was a bag of curtain rings. It was $2.99. I just left it. Next to it was this handheld poker machine. It was only $1.99. It was for seven card stud. And most people play hold'em today. But I still figure I could get 12 to $15 for it. So I kept it. The next row I came to was this row. And first thing I saw on it was this ladies in red cheese plate and knife. It was $2.99. But they were only going for like $7. And I know that ladies in red, it's a woman's organization, but I don't know enough about it. But still, the cheese board wasn't going for enough money. Then I saw this Arnold Palmer Invitational hat. It was $1.99, but they were going for 12 bucks, so I took a chance with it. The next aisle I came to on my journey was this aisle. It was this cheap basket. I just passed on that really fast. There were these two wood... I guess kitchen decor display, $3.99, too much, I put it back. But next to that was this Crown Royal whiskey bottle display. I sold this a long, long time ago and I did pretty well on it. And this one was cheaper than the one I bought before, $2.99. So I definitely took this one. Well, I was really happy with what I found today. I figured I could make 40 or $50 off that Hair Max machine and up to $30 on that Crown Royal display. So I was real happy. Well, guys, I'm tired and I'm going to head home. But here's the answer to today's trivia questions. In what year was the first Star Wars movie released? Well, it was released in May of 1977. It was called A New Hope. The second part of the trivia question was who had the rights to their first toy line is pretty interesting because they asked both uh, Mattel and Hasbro if they wanted to make their first line of toys, and they both turned it down. So Kenner ended up with the rights to it. I bet Hasbro and Mattel are still kicking themselves over that decision. 
Okay, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button. Tell a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye. In the bonus portion of this video, what I do is I show you excerpts from older videos where I bought stuff. And then I break in and I update you on what they sold for. We usually have a lot of fun doing it. So, let's get started. This next doll had that Black & Decker jar opener. But I passed on that. Then it had all these wires, just a group of junky wires they just threw together, a broken clock. But mixed in with all this junk was this Bosch battery charger. Sometimes battery chargers go for more than the tool they're supposed to charge. And this one was only $1.98, and I knew I could get 15 to 20 bucks for it, so I took this. As Soon as I saw that Bosch battery charger, I knew that I wanted it, because I've sold battery chargers in the past, and they usually sell pretty fast. They go between $15 and $20. This particular one sold for $15.95 plus $6.85 shipping. So I made a nice little profit on it. So if you see them out there, make sure you pick them up. Okay, now on to the next item. I was on my way to the cashier when I walked past this bin that I had looked through before. But I guess I had missed these deer antlers. So I picked them up. They were only $2.98. On eBay, they were going for over $20, so I thought I'd take a chance. I had never sold antlers before. I just took a shot with it. I figured they were unique enough that, what could I lose? They were only $2.98. Well, they ended up selling for $17.95 plus $12.95 shipping. So I made a really nice profit and it only cost me, like I said, $2.98. Okay, on to the next item. I walked on over to this aisle. The first thing I saw was this platter. It was rather cheap, so I just passed on it. Next I saw these Garfield cups. They wanted $3.99 each for them. Are they crazy? But looky here. We got Sylvester with a boysenberry jar. It's $4.99. They're salt and pepper shakers. Well, I own them. I like that Sylvester salt shaker a lot, but it was $4.99 and I wasn't really thrilled with that price, but I took a chance with it. Well, it ended up it sold for $14.95 plus $4.95 shipping. That's the kind of good news. The bad news is it ended up costing me $6.50 to ship it, so I lost two more dollars. And I only had a $10 gr gross margin to work with, so I didn't make much money on it. But it's still sold and my money's free to buy something else. You can't hit a home run every time. So on to the next item. First thing I saw on this aisle were these two angels sitting on this pedestal. It said Silent Night on the bottom. It turned out it was a music box. I just passed on that. The next thing I saw was this clock. It was not It was cheap, so I passed on that also. Then I saw this bronze of the thinker. I read the label on the bottom. It said it was from the Rodin Museum in Philadelphia. It was only $3.99, so I put it in the cart. When I saw that bronze statue of the thinker, I, I knew right away I wanted it, and it was only $3.99. But you got to remember, bronze is heavy, so I had a list it for $13.95 in just the shipping. Well, it did end up selling. I got $18.95 for it, $13.95 shipping. So I ended up making a good profit, and I usually do pretty well with these bronze figures. Okay, now on to the next item. When I got to this store, one of the girls that worked there told me that they had just put out a couple of Star Wars toys. So I definitely wanted to start my search on the toy aisle. First thing I saw was this safety first. It's a thermometer for the tub to see if the water's too hot for the kids. I passed on that. Then I saw this safety latch. It was $1.99. They only go for like 6 or $7, so I passed on it. Then I saw my first Star Wars toy. It was a, an A-Wing fighter. It was from Return of the Jedi. It was a little bit old. It was $12.99. It was going for over 40 bucks on eBay, so I kept it. As soon as I saw that Star Wars A-Wing fighter, I was pretty sure I was going to make some money on it. So I was willing to pay that $12.99 they were asking. Well, when I got it home, I listed it for $34.99 on a bid, and I waited to see what I got. Well, it only got up to $37.99, but that, I was happy. Remember, I only paid $12.99 for it and 9.95 shipping on top of it. So I ended up doing pretty well on that item. 
Well, that's about all for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Make sure you tell a friend. Most important, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.